All right, I am 21 hours into fasting. Uh, I thought I would close out the day before I go to sleep with um, some thoughts about my uh, fasting. So hours 18 through 24 are usually some pretty tough hours that you just kind of have to push through. Just think about all the wonders that will come after you push through it um, because uh, uh, it, it feels really good. Uh, I'll probably record a video tomorrow morning after I get that good feeling to report on it. It's kind of hard to explain otherwise. And so it just becomes a reminder that there are certain life events that are challenging that we have to deal with for the better of our future, right? So today, October 24th, uh, the news on uh, Alec Baldwin's uh, shooting accident, I think that's going to weigh very heavily on him. Uh, I re my first um, impression of Alec, I didn't know about Alec Baldwin until he appeared as a uh, celebrity guest on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in 2000. He had a very good personality, right? lots of funny jokes. Unfortunately, Regis Philbin has also given his life's final answer this past year. Right? So it just goes to show all of these things will pass. Right? Now, whether they're good events or they're bad events, nothing's forever. Right? Just like those tough, those terrible hours of fasting that you just have to push through, right? But last time I pushed through them and I ended up going 60 some hours. I hope to enjoy that feeling again. I, I had a very good lightweight feeling at the end of that fast. I have a little bit of a nickname for some of my fasting terminology. Uh, because 24 hours is so hard to push through, I like to call a, a, a fast that goes beyond 24 hours, I call it an interstellar fast. And the reason for that is because in 24 hours you see all the planets and all the stars go overhead. And plus it's such a big barrier to push through, right? So interstellar just has, has a nice ring to it, right? I, I, I made it to an interstellar fast, right? Now the other problem with uh, fasting is that uh, I used to give myself a hard time for this. Now I don't anymore. But at the beginning of my intermittent fasting journey back in, well, two years ago now, Every time I would go on a long fast, I would masturbate a lot to compensate for it. And um, I used to give myself a hard time because I thought for sure that once we went back to the office, it would be difficult to masturbate. Well, not really. You can always find time away from that. But um, at the beginning of my fasting career, sometimes I would try to not masturbate so much. Um, but usually my fasts go a whole lot better if I masturbate. So I called it a fasting 2.0 if I also abstain from masturbating while I was fasting. Now, I've only I've only done one interstellar fasting 2.0, the, the one for Yom Kippur. Other than that, um, I tend to masturbate a lot to compensate for it. Um, what else is going on here? You get the idea, right? There are certain things you just have to push through, right? Um, I have a problem with um, stresses, right? Sometimes I get, uh, especially ever since we started working remotely, Sometimes um, I get an email from a, a colleague or a boss who just says they want to talk to me. I have no idea what it is about and I can't sleep. I try to email them 10, 20 times. I had a problem when I was working on my PhD actually. My advisor had sent me such an email and um, I couldn't get a hold of her. I went to her office and I looked up her personal phone number and I called her. And her husband answered the phone and was very angry that I would disturb them in the middle of eating dinner. And that, 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 ain't, that caused even more anxiety for me because of the way he, he cussed at me. It made me sound like there got to be something really serious behind the scenes. And so I camped outside of her office at 6 in the morning to find out just what, I, after not sleeping all night, obviously. And maybe not even eating that. Maybe I well, it wasn't a fast that time. Who knows? I can't remember the exact details. Uh, but... I got to the office and um, I got into a huge argument with um, somebody else in the campus because I was anxious. Well, maybe I wasn't fasting because if I were fasting I tend not to be so aggressive. Uh, and uh, just as I was arguing with my classmate, my advisor walks by and, and wonders what all this fuss is about. And finally I complained to her about why she didn't answer my emails and her husband had hung up the phone on me. and. Um, I, I, I like the fact that I had this though, because now every time I go to a new workplace, that's the first story I introduce to warn people not to do that to me. And so that was good, right? But uh, the, the events of uh, well, having to push through the interstellar fast, 
and Alec Baldwin having to uh, to make peace with himself. Right? I know he probably blames himself for what happened this past week. Has taught me that this too will pass. Right? Just like my earlier video, you will be you you will you will eat nothing and you will be happy. Right? This too will pass. This too will pass. This too will pass.